everyone and welcome to a Hair Arts video. It's Sherry Carroll here to bring you a masculine hybrid card. The card that I'm making today features one of my favorite stamps of all time and that is from the Stone Etching Set. I've also created a digital sheet that's available on two peas in a bucket that coordinates with the stamp set. To start off I'll walk you through some of my supplies. I have my Stone Etching Set here and I will be using the rosette. I'm also using walnut stain ink and an applicator. I've stamped my rosette three times on white cardstock. I'll set that aside. I also created a top folding note card from our Earth Designer Papers and used a bone folder to go ahead and crease my fold. I've stamped friend on a strip of paper and I've left it wide enough so that I can adjust it to however I want. And then I've printed out my digital sheet on white cardstock and also on the earth layering paper. But for this card, I'll just be using the earth paper. When I designed these digital sheets, I had card making in mind, so I wanted to show you how I've created these blocks so that they go ahead and fit the length of a note card. So they're five and a half inches long. Next, I'll go ahead and get out my paper trimmer and trim up my borders. You could certainly use your scissors if you wanted to, since they're a straight line, but I find it really easy just to line up and run it through my cutter. So just trim on each side of the strip of borders. And go ahead and cut a larger one if you're following the instructions for this card. So I'm just cutting on each side. And once I'm done cutting, since I need to replace the mat on my trimmer, what I like to do is, I, since I have rough edges, I just run my scissors up the side, and the scissors are kind of open, and I just run the blade across the paper, and it takes off any of the frayed edges that I might have. And then I'll finish it off by trimming the end. And now I'm going to finish my edges by running my ink applicator down the sides of the paper, which kind of covers up the white core. And I'm just using my ink applicator with walnut stain ink. Next I'll color my rosettes with my walnut stain ink and my ink applicator. And I've just placed down a scratch piece of paper to protect my work surface. And I'm going to be coloring these in two different tones. So I'm going to do a really dark one and then two lighter ones because I'll be cutting out my rosette and sandwiching it back together. For this first image I'll make this one the darkest and I'm just concentrating on the rosette itself. And once I have that colored I can go ahead and move on to the other two, just using very light pressure. And now I have all my pieces ready so I can start assembling my card. I have my little message strip, which I have done a little V-cut on the end. I have my rosette, which I have cut out and pieced back together with a dot in the center. And I've used foam tape to mount everything up. And I also have my two border strips, which I like to try to dry fit onto my card just to find out what design looks best. So I could place it this way. Or I could have the heavier border at the bottom, which I think looks a little too bottom heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and place them this way on my card. So once I've decided on my design, I go ahead and get my adhesive out and run it down the strip. Then I'll place it onto my card by aligning it at the top first and then pressing it down in place along the card. And Once I'm done I can go ahead and cut off the bottom part with my scissors. And now I can add my little strip onto the card and to get it aligned I don't want to put it at the end so I'm just going to go ahead and center the design so it fits across the bottom and then I'll just go ahead and press that in place since I already had a bit adhesive on the back of that. And once that's in place go ahead and trim the ends like you did the other. Next I'll be adding my little strips. So I'll just go ahead and add a little bit of extra adhesive and I want to make sure I get the ends really well so they stay down. And I'll just apply this to the card and press it in place. 
to finish off my card, I'll go ahead and put on my rosette and figure out how that's going to line up. It looks great. But I'm going to go ahead and mount that up with some foam tape. And I'm just using the roll type and just snipping it with my Teflon coated scissors. And I'll just be adding a couple pieces on. Since there's so many layers of paper, I don't need a lot of foam tape. So I'm just putting two pieces down. And once those are in place, go ahead and peel off the backing. And now I can place it onto my card. So go ahead and line it up. And once I'm happy with where I have it, I'll just go ahead and press it in place. And here's another look at my finished card. For more ideas and inspiration, please visit us at www.heroarts.com. And thanks for watching.